So I've got a nice sweater on today because it is not that hot. We've got a manual gearbox and you get a sport exhaust. Oh, now you go to the right. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max, and today we are taking a look at the all new Porsche Boxster T, the 718 Boxster T. And it is, it is a new special edition. Uh, it is sort of between the regular Boxster and the Boxster S. It's kind of difficult to place it, to sort of give it a place. We have driven the Porsche 911 Carrera T, which was sort of a lightweight, driving focused special edition. Um, but with this one, it's less so. Because it's more like uh, a GTS version of the regular Boxster instead of a real lightweight version of it. So today I'm going to show you all around the car, show you all the special features on it that you get with a Boxster T and then we'll take it for a drive along this road, take it towards the Autobahn and do a blast over there on the unrestricted Autobahn. So before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive updates when we upload a new video and follow us on Instagram at autotopnl. All right, so let's get started with the walk around and the looks, the exterior of the car. We've got a Carmine red version. So uh, we have driven quite a lot of Porsches in this color, but I think it does look quite good. And especially in combination with a couple of black and gray accents, I think it does look very nice. So the Boxer T means that we get 20 inch wheels as standard. Uh, we even have the regular logos, so no coloring on the logos. You also get this striping down the side. You get these gray mirror caps, which you also got on the Carrera T. And you get a sport exhaust. And that's about it for the exterior parts, I believe. Maybe the dark headlights are also part of it. I'm not sure, actually. Um, but it does look cool. It does sort of look special. And I think that's important when you get you know this sort of special edition uh, inside we've got these cloth seats with a 718 logo on it which is also special for the boxer t we've got a manual gearbox a six speed which is really nice and that is sort of a good example of what this car stands for it is sort of a stripped down version of the boxster that's what porsche says uh, but I don't really buy it. I think this is more like a GTS version of the regular Boxster. So you get a lot of options, uh, a lot of driver focused options that you don't get as standard. So we've got the Sports Chrono package, which means you get that stopwatch and this drive selector. It also means that you get launch control if you go for a PDK gearbox, but we've got a manual gearbox today, so no launch control. We have to do it all by ourselves. Uh, you also get these cloth fabric door handles and they are actually also to open them um, and you can get this removed so you could go for the total 100% Boxster T approach uh, and get rid of the PCM but that also means that you don't have navigation you don't have any info you don't have uh, a sound system you don't have anything and it saves like I don't know a couple of kilos so I don't think that would be worth the trouble as I said it does offer a range of more driver oriented driving oriented I should say options like those 20 inch wheels with some sticky tires let's check out what tires are on this car ah these are p-zeros okay not my favorite tire um, but anyway, you also get a limited slip differential at the rear, a mechanical one. And with uh, Porsche torque vectoring, you also get PASM, so Porsche Active Suspension Management. That means we've got adaptive dampers. And you also get the active engine mounts. Engine is right here behind me. Uh, that's also standard on the Boxster T. So you do get a lot of options that you would select anyway if you would sort of spec your Boxster to be uh, kind of driver focused and really performance focused. So as I said, it is based on the regular Boxster. So I'm going to open the roof. 
which is super quick. As you've seen in our previous review, you've all seen that one, of course. I trust you have seen that, so I'm not going to do an entire review on the Boxster. Let's get out, I'll show you the car with the roof down. It is a pretty car, I think, the 718. I know that a lot of people think that it's stupid because it has a four-cylinder, uh, but this two-liter four-cylinder Boxster engine, this flat four, is actually one of the best four-cylinders ever made. Uh, I would have to say that the two and a half liter Boxer flat four that you get in a in a Boxer S or in a Cayman S or in a GTS that one is even better. Uh, this one has 300 horsepower and 380 newton meters, so it is the same as the regular Boxer. But I think it looks really good. I think especially the rear of this car is so beautiful and. It just looks, just looks really cool. So I've got a nice sweater on today because it is not that hot, but we are going to do roof down, of course. So let's take it for a drive and see what all those performance oriented options add to the experience. Uh, we are going to just start in Sport Plus and well, just see what it's like. I haven't driven it at all not one single meter so i'll just tell you what i am feeling and experiencing as we go so it's actually the first time that i've driven a manual boxster i think yeah i think so um, so it is a very 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 nice gearbox it is very woo, Man, this I forgot. Well, I didn't forget, but I'm always surprised by how incredible this car feels. Okay, we're going to turn off traction control because it was already interfering with my driving fun. Uh, but this gearbox is really good. It's really tight. It it sort of clicks into position. Uh, it is very short. It has very short throws, and it is in a very nice position because you sort of operate it. Uh, going forwards and backwards you know it's not underneath you or it's just like you can rest your elbow on this center console and just pull it back or push it forwards which is really nice it is however quite difficult to launch it Martijn told me he has driven it um, so we are going to have to see about that how it feels and okay so driving wise um, you do have sort of that turbo lag I'm in second gear and if I go to like slower speeds 2000 rpm full throttle nothing happens three and a half thousand rpm a lot of stuff happens so you do sort of have to keep it at a higher rev uh, you do have to keep it at, at a little bit of higher RPM because it just it needs that a little bit more to really sort of explode but once it does it is really nice and I mean you know how I feel about this engine I really like it Oh, the balance on this car is just incredible. See, that was second gear and it just struggled a little bit. Okay, let's do a launch right here. Let's see if we can get anything. Traction control is off. So you can actually sort of do a launch control because it won't rev further, it won't rev higher than 4200 RPM. So let's see what happens. No, it just dies, so that's not there on purpose. Yeah. But once you get it going, it's actually not that bad. You can actually really shift quickly. Hey, there's Martijn, everyone wave to Martijn. Bye. Uh, 
but once you get it going, the gearbox is really, really nice. And it's it, it really fits this car. I mean, you feel like you are so connected to this car. You feel like you are in control and you feel like the car is really doing everything you want it to. So it is kind of nice to have a manual gearbox because it just adds to that experience. Okay. Oh, what a lovely car. So I said this in the Boxster review as well. Of course we miss that flat six, that, that howling sound. Of course we do, but this car drives so well and handles so incredibly tight and, and just hunkered down that when you're driving it, you sort of just don't really miss it. Okay, going to put the roof up. Pretty quick. So I actually also really like the way this car looks with the roof up, which doesn't really happen that often with convertibles. So the funny thing is that, you know, as I said, we of course we miss that howling V6 because now that I've closed the roof, you can actually hear the engine and the exhaust a little bit better than with the roof down. Uh, and that would not be the case with uh, a 981 previous generation flat six. But Everything else about this car is so much better that overall this car is just the better car. And it also means that because this four cylinder is so good, because you have so much more torque, because it sounds, it sounds really good for a four cylinder, all that together makes a better car. And it also means that you don't really miss that six cylinder. All right, here we go. GoPro on. Traction control on. So much grip. So much grip. Okay, here we go. Top speed. 275 kilometers an hour. Zero to 100 kilometers an hour. 5.1 seconds with the manual. 4.9 with the PDK, 4.7 with launch control. But the way this four cylinder, this little two liter flat four pulls is just incredible. It just keeps going. I mean, we're at 260. Ah, this van is going to ruin it. 265 that was which is seriously impressive. Oh, listen to that. I mean, doesn't that sound good for a four cylinder? It sounds meaty, it sounds angry. It sounds powerful. As I've said before, the GTS models are, if you ask me, sort of the sweet spot. That's the one to have because you have all the best options. But this is a lot cheaper than a GTS. It gives you a lot of stuff that you don't get on an S, like uh, the, the limited slip diff, the active dampers. So you get you do get a lot of value for your money with this model, and I think that. This, this is sort of the best value for money model right now. It used to be the GTS, but I think now the Boxster T has it. It also has rev matching, so if I have the traction control turned on, uh, 
it works when I have it off. It doesn't work, so if I shift down, it automatically revs, automatically matches the revs. So let's see, I think, yeah, it's still dry. I don't know how much angle we can get, but. So quite a bit. It's just so easy. It's just so easy. It's so controllable. This is, this might be one of the best chassis out there. I mean, it, it's, it's staggeringly good. All right, we'll do another little run back towards our starting position. Here we go, full throttle. Oh, so nice. It is a crazy world we are living in that, you know, these four cylinders, this, this base engine, <laughs> it, it just sounds this good, goes this well, is this fast, and does 275 kilometers an hour. I mean, it is pretty ridiculous. Should you get a manual gearbox or should you go for the PDK? Well, I think the PDK works better with this engine, to be honest. But I think that this manual gearbox works better with the Cayman and the Boxster. I think it just, it just fits this car really well. So that's 270 kilometers an hour. 273, four, five, six. So that's top speed. Oh, now you go to the right. Oh man, at least he saw me coming, but a little bit too late. Otherwise we could have gone a little bit further. But I mean, that's what I mean, it's so crazy. This four cylinder, this two liter with 300 horsepower and it does 275 kilometers an hour. I mean, it's just ridiculous. All right, we'll get off here. Oh man, it just, it's so satisfying to drive this car. It just, it ticks all the boxes. The steering feel is incredible. The brake pedal feel, it just all works. So I'm going to end it here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this POV review or go check out this POV review playlist. We've made a lot of them, so go check it out. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Just search for Top and L. Thanks, and I'll see you at the next one.